Alright, so this is a build that I just came up with a few minutes ago. Thought it sounded interesting on paper, so let's get into it. So first we're running Lethal Pursuer. At the start of the trial, we'll see the ores of all survivors for 9 seconds, and any time a survivor's ore is shown to us for a period of time, that duration is increased by 2 seconds. Barbecue and Chili, whenever we hook a survivor, all survivor's ores are revealed to us for 4 seconds when they are further than 40 meters, which uh, goes well with Lethal Pursuer. Eruption, whenever we put someone in a dying state, every generator that we have kicked explodes, loses 10% of its progress, starts regressing, and anyone who was on it is incapacitated for 25 seconds, which means they can't do anything for 25 seconds. That's huge. Uh, and it has a cooldown of 30 seconds. The final perk here is Hex Plaything. So after we hook a survivor, uh, they become oblivious, meaning they can't detect my terror radius. Um, only they can cleanse that totem for the first 90 seconds, but the aura of the totem is revealed to them once they're in 16 meters of it. For add-ons, we got uh, the bloody glove here. Uh, so all survivors can see blood orbs, but when they're in... Uh, sorry, a survivor's aura is revealed for 3 seconds when coming into contact with a blood orb. So that's going to pair nice with lethal. And then this final one right here increases blood orb or reading range by 3 meters. So this is just a ton of information. Uh, we got a little bit of slowdown here, and then we got Hex Plaything to give them some objectives to do. Let's get into the gameplay. Dead Dog Saloon. This is always a fun map. So, we are going to run our first game in the Attack on Titan skin, which I'm super excited about. Oh, someone's right on a gen, so we're gonna go straight over there. Some Lethal Pursuer value. Love this perk. Happy it got a rework. Or a buff, I should say, not a rework. I see you. It was already pretty good, so they just made it even better, which is fantastic. So we know that uh, Nancy's around. I don't remember if she had a flashlight. She does. She, uh. Oh, it's a Meg. She doesn't have a flashlight. Perfect. So now we got fucking enormous pressure. We got our power, too. Probably, uh, trying to think how I want to play this here. You guys got me thinking in lifetime. Yeah, she's smart. Unfortunately, we might lose a uh, homie on the floor now, uh, Adam. But we're gonna have to get someone else off gens. Damn, if only I had held forward there. Nah, she's really, really smart. Perfect. So we'll go ahead and get her up. I think basement's right here. It's not, unfortunately, but we do get a hook here. So we'll hook her and then go zooming over to the gen that they're on. Let's take a look. Right here. Let's see if we can stop that. Might not be able to. God, this skin is so sick. Oh no, I got stuck. That's not good. Get this out of the way. Let's go ahead and pound on this. It doesn't have as much progress as I thought. I mean, it does have a decent amount. Let's get right back over there. So they were actually healing under the hook. Got to remember that for future notice. Let's get this out of the way. Oh my god. Perfect. Eruption goes off. We see uh, Meg up there with her toolbox. Walk around just in case they come for the pallet save. I see you. I'm thinking maybe that was Sprint Burst. She waited kind of late. Go ahead and kick this again. I don't know what that was up there. Guess she was healing. Big lethal value. Well, I mean, it's the aura reading perk, but with lethal, it's sick. Homie's trapped in here, too. You know what's so funny is I've always felt like Oni's, uh... Oni's add-ons just aren't that great, but I gotta tell you... It feels fucking great. 
I have the add-on to extend aura reading. Then we got lethal. Eruption, a perk that I never use. Getting value out of. Poor Nia. I don't know where anyone else is, so I'm just gonna go for the pickup and uh, preserve my power. It looks like she's over it. Kinda wanna, since she's not fighting me, I'm gonna walk her closer to this generator. Oh, now she's fighting. She waited a little too long though. Thank you for the great positioning. So we see one. Oh no, we got two. Oh no, you ran the wrong way. Lithe? I'm actually gonna break down this door. Is he sitting here waiting? He's not. That person's on a gen up there, that's fine. He fakes that. Let's break this open. Just go ahead and get rid of the walls for now. I don't like chasing here. I don't know what that was about. Go ahead and get these two off the generator. Someone's healing right over here, or cleansing a totem, it sounds like. Yeah, that's what it was. So much information, there's people everywhere. Oh, going for the pickup. Can we get there in time? And... Oh, and there we go. Uh, that's how we close out the game. Oh. Yeah. Wow, so Oni with this setup just feels fantastic. I threw this together right before this match. And I'm loving it. And I'm loving the skin. Yikes, man. No gems done. But they made a lot of weird choices. Where did she go? I shouldn't have sucked up the blood. There we go. Ooh, she's got boil over. I think we're close enough, though. Yeah. Power up just for the points. 